All right, so I'm Don with True Cable. Very nice to meet you. And we're going to talk about our Category 6A Shielded Direct Burial Cable today. So the shielded version is suitable for items where you're concerned about electrostatic discharge or running a bioelectrical, things like that. So it, it certainly fits into our product stack very nicely. Um, this uh, cable has a very thick LLDPE cable jacket, uh, CMX, which is known as linear low density polyethylene. And it's extremely resistant to ice, snow, rain, water vapor, uh, all of those things that can cause your cable damage outside, including UV radiation. Because it is category 6A cable, uh, it's very important to note that you should terminate it properly. And what I mean by properly is category 6A, and especially if you intend to drive it to 10 gigabit, and you probably purchased 10 or CAT 6A with that intent, is you need to have, uh, I, I would avoid RJ45s unless absolutely necessary. Uh, and, a, and there's only a couple of situations where I would think that that would be absolutely necessary. It come, it tur as it turns out, RJ45s are probably the least performant type of termination for category 6A because of the operating speed of 500 megahertz. Uh, that causes a lot of crosstalk at the connector. So you need connection hardware like Keystone Jacks or CAT 6A field termination plugs that are capable of uh, impedance matching the cable and handling that type of uh, uh, crosstalk issue at the connector without causing any issues. So these are our category 6A shielded Keystone Jacks. We've documented them other places. So the ideal way, of course, is jack to jack or rack to jack with this type of cable. Uh, they are shielded jacks because it is shielded cable. Another uh, way would be if you would need to go maybe a modular plug terminated link and you're not restricted in regards to space, uh, then you could do like a keystone jack or a patch panel to a CAT 6A shielded field termination plug, which is one of these guys. Uh, if you want to make a patch cable, uh, out of solid copper category 6A and you want it to perform to your expectation level, you must use, uh, strongly recommend, category 6A uh, shielded field termination plugs. The reason has to do again with RJ45s. If, I mean, they're a problem. They can cause trouble on just one end. If you put them on both ends, they can really have a problem. So if you're trying to get to 10 gigabit, the field termination plugs are the way to, are the way to do it. And we test with our Fluke tester to show you that in fact it will reach patch cord parameters, which is a very tight test and shows you that the cables are high quality and the terminations are high quality. And so the technical nits and nats out of the way, let's go ahead and perform a Fluke test. And so I've got our Fluke tester here set up to do a TIA 568-2D patch cord test, 10 meters for CAT 6A, for uh, CAT 6A foil, uh, overall foil shield cable. And this is the absolute tightest test that I can throw at an ethernet cable, and we're gonna show you how well it performs. So we're gonna plug in one end, and when you hear the beeps, that means that it knows that something's plugged into the flip cluster. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and test the cable. We have a green full pass towards. So this cable is, is not only passes, it passes well. And that's it. So that kind of shows you the quality of the cable uh, that, we're, that we're selling. And we do check this stuff out pretty thoroughly. So if uh, you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you uh, want to look at some other termination videos, like how to put on a shielded field termination plug, uh, like one of these, or a shielded uh, keystone jack, there's plenty of other content in our Cable Academy, which also has some videos on YouTube, and you can uh, get some additional information around that. Uh, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit, and beyond that, I'm going to say, have a great day. Happy networking.